All right. I hope y'all are doing great. I hope y'all are doing well. This is going to be a very short and sweet and quick and flawless, totally correct uh, little installation guide on how to properly use mods in Baldur's Gate 3. Um, I use the BG3 mod manager is my preferred mod manager for Baldur's Gate. Um, I know you can use Vortex. I don't use Vortex. I've used it in the past and I did not enjoy it. Like I thought it was quite buggy. So I, I have been using the BG3 mod manager for a while now and it's been totally fine. So um, first off, we will start off with downloading the BG3 mod manager um, and you will come to this GitHub page and I will have all of these links listed in the description below. Um, you want to make sure that you run Baldur's Gate first at least once before installing any mods or changing anything at all. So if you have not installed any mods at all and you have not run the game yet, do that first, run the game first, and then we can install some mods. So if you have ran your game, you can grab the latest release of the Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager by clicking on this little blue text right here. I'm going to click it. It'll pop up here. Uh, then you want to open it. So we're going to open it. Um, and then you're going to take all of this stuff inside and you are going to extract it to a folder. Honestly, you can put it really anywhere you want on your PC. I recommend just putting it into a disk drive, like outside of the program files. Um, honestly, you can really just put it wherever you want. Like you, you can make a new folder here and name it like BG3 Mod Manager. And then you will want to take this stuff, extract it into there. You can put this folder wherever you want. And yeah, so that's that. That's how you extract that. I'm going to have mine open with a lot of mods already installed. First off, when you open the mod manager, it will most likely ask you, like it's not even most likely, it will ask you <laughs> to find your game data path um, and the executable path. So for those, if you installed Baldur's Gate 3 on Steam, which you probably most likely have, um, that will just be in your Steam apps, common Baldur's Gate 3 data for the game data path. And then the executable path will be in the bin folder with the BG3 ex executable. To install a mod that you have downloaded from the Nexus site, um, I will bring up the Nexus site here. So we will come here. We're just going to install these consort dies, for example. You will want to come to manual download and I'll click that and I'll probably say additional files required. If it says that, go download those. They'll have inst installation descriptions on those mods most likely. When you download your mods, you're going to want to have a place where you store the pack files. So you'll just want to make a new folder labeled BG3 mods and when you download a mod, it will be in a zip file. And when you open that zip file, most likely it will have a pack file and you will want to drag that pack file out into your BG3 mods folder, wherever you want to store your mods folder. That's totally fine. For the sake of this video, I just put it onto my desktop here. Um, I don't really think it matters. Honestly, you can put it wherever you want as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so once you do that, and you have that in your little Baldur's Gate 3 mods folder here. Um, you can come back to this mod manager here and you're going to want to go, go to file and import mod. And when you click import mod, you will want to come to your BG3 mods folder. So wherever you put your little folder that holds all your mods, you want to go there. And you're just going to double click on the pack file or you can click it and click open down here. And when you do that, it will show up on the side here, so in the inactive mods. And if you want to make it active, you just drag it over to the side. You can put it wherever you want in the load order. Um, sometimes mods will tell you if it needs to be above a certain mod or below a certain mod. Most of the time it is fine, but you will want to read mod descriptions on the Nexus mod site or wherever you got your mod from to make sure that you were installing it correctly. Um, I'm just showing you how to install 
mods that have a pack file through the Baldur's Gate mod manager. So once you do that, once you bring that over there, um, you will want to click this export order to game up here. Make sure you do this or it will not save the mod list into the game. So it will not translate over there until you click this. That's how you pretty much use Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager. It's very, very simple. So for example, if you come across a mod like this, this mod needs to be installed manually. So this cannot be installed through the Baldur's Gate Mod Manager, as far as I'm concerned. I'm pretty sure you have to install it through the files. So I will show you where you've installed these types of mods since I have shown this mod off in my previous videos. So you would want to install just this. So we will install it. I'll put it on my desktop. We have the file here. And if you ever come across a mod that has a generated folder like this, that means that you will want to go to wherever you have Baldur's Gate installed. For example, I have Baldur's Gate in my Steam library, so you will want to go to your Steam library, Steam app, common, Baldur's Gate 3, and data folder. So once you find the data folder, there will be a generated folder, and if there is no generated folder, then that probably means you have never installed a raw file into the Baldur's Gate data folder. So if you don't have a generated folder like this, just drag this generated folder from whatever mod you find into your data folder here and once you do that it will start copying all of these texture files so just like that and that's how you install like texture changes sometimes um and really any mod that doesn't have a pack file associated with it now again mods on the mod page will tell you how to install it so, if you come across a pack file, remember, that's the mod manager. If it does not have a pack file, it's probably done manually in the Baldur's Gate files themselves. You Sometimes you will come across like mods that are in the override section, um, that are separate from like the active mods section. Um, that's fine, like, you know, they're, they're doing their thing down there. They're hanging out down there. <laughs> now, if you ever want to update a mod that is a pack file mod what you will do is you would so for example if i was going to update this consort dies pack i would download the new consort dies pack file from the nexus mods if there is an update and basically you would just replace the one that's here so you would take the new file, you would drag it in here, and you would repl replace it. So I'll show you an example of that. Like, pretend pretend that this is a new file. <laughs> pretend that this is a new file that I had just downloaded. It was a new update. You would just take the new update, copy it into here, replace that, and then you would just do the same thing on the Baldur's Gate Mod Manager. So you would go to File, Import, and then you would just re-import it. And you don't even have to change it in the load order. It will just do it automatically. So you open it, it would just do it automatically. I have it over here right now, but if it was on the active side, it would just replace itself. You don't have to drag it back over. And um, as far as I'm concerned, that's pretty much it. Just make sure you always export it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully I didn't miss anything important. I'm pretty sure I didn't. As long as you have like, these game data paths set up properly, the game executable paths set up properly. Um, you should be good. Um, I have run into certain weird script extender issues, uh, but a lot of that stuff can be found on the website for the mod manager itself. So I would read through this just to get a little bit of information on how to use it. Um, I was just doing a little visual guide here on how you can actually like store your mods, like how you should store your mods and how you would replace or update a mod and install a mod directly into the mod manager. Um, but that's it from me. Hopefully this was like somewhat helpful. I'm a little manic, um, a little terrible at guides. I don't really do installation guides um, at all. Actually, this is like the first one, which is probably going to be quite apparent. Um, <laughs> but if this was helpful at all, you know, leave a like if you want. Uh, if it is still confusing, um, 
leave a comment if I missed something, and if you're still struggling, I'm, I'll try to help you in the comments, but that really should be everything. You should be set up to go, really. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, subscribe if you want. I usually do more gameplay-ish type stuff, but sometimes I do some char character guides here and there, some tiny little bit of modding guides here and there, but... Um, I also stream over on Twitch if you want to go follow me on Twitch. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you all have a great day. And uh, thanks for clicking on this video and giving this little video a chance. <laughs> Bye, everybody.